two or three practice runs and walk track. Pretty chill day. I'm feeling a bit tired yesterday and this track's obviously really physical so I don't want to wear myself out too much. Just got a few lines to try and uh, yeah, that's about it really. Just want to try a few lines and do a few runs, see how the track's changing and go for a little walk this evening and that's about it. There's just one uh, like tight, tight inside after the bridge that I haven't tried that I think a few people are on. It looks pretty good, so I want to try that. And then there's another, um, I've been going outside in this like corner onto this ridge and I, I think it might be better to go inside because the outside's getting a little bit blown out. So um, just got to tick them off and see if I like them or not. Uh, I want to say inside. Well, yeah, inside, inside. Um, I just went up while Junior was on, just a couple of lines that we were talking about at breakfast this morning and track walk last night, just to watch a few riders through, get a couple of videos, just to reassure these guys that they're going to try, if they're going to try new lines, how they are and that sort of stuff. And then we've got a new guy here that's just asked, who's that? Was that Sansa? Who's that? Where is he? Arms aching. Yeah, so he nailed that all through there. Yeah, just everyone else is fighting through here. It looks like that right there. <laughs> he almost went off. It's good. A new line has developed a little bit, like an inside inside. Um, shorter, obviously, because it's inside. Um, but there's a little bit of a new one developed on the outside, too. So, just going to get a few people through, video them. Uh, Lucas tried the inside inside, so I've not seen him come through yet, but he was going to try it first. He's only done one run of practice this morning, so he was going to try it. Um, don't know how it went yet. Uh, close to the two trees up top under the ski it sign, and then you go off this stump by the blue pole and land on a nice backside here. And it just straightens all this next section up. There's a little awkward jump into a turn here, and it just straightens it up, gets you out quicker. He stopped down there, I'm going to... Did he? Yeah. Stop. Who's that? Therese? The options are, like, tight inside here to, like, the outside. It's got a nice catch on the outside, but there's a lot of roots and rocks come out in this first bit, so it's, it's actually unsettling them a little bit to get turned in and turn well. So the other thing is to bang this berm a little bit earlier and head across that ridge line. Um, just having a look at both. The track's deteriorating in places so lines are changing. much better like I hit it faster like first time I tried it I went slow I'll go down and watch on that bottom bit of this that was the, that was nice it was moving gelling with the track but then made a few little changes to the bike and changed up some lines and was way better at the end there um had a had a good run there at the end so yeah i feel feel good i kind of know where i want to go now and lines are sorted so yeah it's, it's good the more information the better i think about the track and like what people are doing um at the end of the day you need to make up your own mind like what lines best for you but it's good to have more more info 
the better, I think. And also, yeah, him pushing my bike up the hill doesn't hurt either. <laughs> <laughs>